Hi everyone, my name is Emma Rose and today I'm going to take you on a story time adventure. We are going to be reading Giraffes Can't Dance by Giles Andrea and Guy Parker Rees. So today we're going to read the book and we're going to pick out some of our favourite animals and anything else we can see in the book and maybe try and dance like them. We'll get some movement counts and we'll get some movement shapes and hopefully by the end you'll be able to dance just as well as Gerald can. Giraffes can't dance, but maybe they can. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully bandy and his legs were rather thin. Can you see how thin they are? Hmm, I'm amazed they hold him up. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees. But when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Now, every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance, where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. I think we should all travel to the jungle dance. I think maybe if we look at the page, we can see the animals we would like to be. Maybe we want to be a zebra. Or we could be a warthog. What about an elephant? I know how to be an elephant. Shall we start with elephants? Right, stand up. Elephants are really heavy. So when you move, make sure you stomp. Elephants are really heavy, stomping through the jungle. Now get your trunk. Is everybody joining in? Stomping to the jungle dance. <gasps> what about a kangaroo? We can all be kangaroos. Put your arms together, put your feet together, and jump, and jump, and jump, and jump, and jump. <gasps> now, in Australia, we also have snakes. I think we can be snakes going to the jungle dance. Sneaky snakes, sneaking, sneaking, everybody sneak along with me. Sneaking, sneaking to the jungle dance. And then, what about, oh, a monkey. We can all be monkeys. How would a monkey get to the jungle dance? Maybe they scratch their armpits. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Maybe they run on the ground. Everybody try run on the ground. Get really, really, really low. And then, last but not least, we should be Gerald. Gerald is a giraffe. I think he's very tall. So everybody try and stretch up as high as you can on your tippy toes. Put your arms up like you're munching leaves. Munch, munch, up. And we're gonna take a step. Whoa, bandy legs. Whoa, another one. Whoa, you're much better than me. I'm not very good at this. Whoa, giraffe walks up, up, up. Oh, oh. Oof. Oh. We've arrived, we're at the jungle dance. Shall we continue with the story? And this year when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. The warthogs started waltzing and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced a tango, which was elegant and bold. I thought maybe we could learn how to waltz too. So shall we put anything down and stand up, hands on your hips, put a bit of glue so they stay. Now. A waltz is counted in a three, four. We can all count to three, right? One, two, three. <gasps> Glue, back. We're gonna do it with our feet this time. We're gonna step. One, two, three. Count with me. One, two, three. Again. One, two, three. Now, you've all got that, so we're gonna start going side to side and waltzing. One, two, three. 
One, two, three. Now you can do it on tippy toes. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Shall we try that with some music? I think we should. Listening to your music. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, it's quite quick. <sighs> Quickly go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two, three. One, two, three. And then step to the side. Together. Together. And sit. So the other animals are lions and <gasps> rhinos. Now the rhinos, they rock and rolled. That's quite an old style of dancing and it's a little bit harder than a waltz, but it's really fun. So standing up again, hands on your hips. The very basic beginning of the rock and roll step. You need a bit more room. Make sure you're not gonna crash into anyone. We're gonna go gallop to the side and then step, step. Everybody gallop to the side. Step, step. Getting a little bit faster now. Gallop, step, step. Gallop, step, step. Gallop, step, step. Faster. Step, step, gallop. Step, step, gallop. Step, step, gallop. Oh, you guys are really good. Keep going. Okay, slowing down again. Now we're gonna add some arms in. So when we gallop, we're gonna rock them. Are you ready? Rock. 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 Now we're gonna roll. So gallop. Gallop. Rocking. And rolling. Rock. Roll. Rock. Roll. Music. Go. Ready? Are we listening? One more. Oh. Okay, arms. Ready? It's gonna get really fast. Let's rock. Maybe if you're really clever, you can do it in a circle. Let's try. One. Oh gosh. I'm sorry, I'm not a good rock and roller, but you were really good at it. Okay, so we've waltzed, we've rock and rolled. We're not going to tango today because you need a partner and I don't have one. Oh, here's something we can do. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel. And eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Now, a cha-cha is slightly different again. We're still gonna keep our feet the same. So we go step together, step together, and now you can wiggle your hips. Cha, 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 cha. Back the other way. Step together, step together. Cha, 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 cha. Like a monkey. Step together, step together. Cha, 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 cha. Other way, step together, step together. Cha, 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 cha. Shall we have some music? I can hear it. Ready? Step together, step together. Cha, 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 cha. Step together, step together. Cha, 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 cha. Step together, step together. Maybe pull a monkey face. Ooh, what would they do? Okay, I think that's it. I think a Scottish reel that the baboons do is a little bit difficult. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked towards the floor, but the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald! The animals all laughed. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool! Oh Gerald, don't be daft! That's not very nice. You shouldn't laugh at people when they're trying to dance. Gerald simply froze up. 
He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought, I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before, so sad and all alone. I don't know if you can see, but in the corner, Gerald is creeping off from the jungle dance. And he's very sad and he's very alone. So if we think, if we've ever been sad and lonely before, or maybe you're tired or hungry and you feel really sad and you don't know what to do about it, maybe you creep off to your room. Can we hunch our shoulders in? Can we drop our arms? Maybe we kick the floor. Everybody show me your sad walks. Sad walking. Maybe you've got a tear coming out because you're really sad. And then you have to creep. Creep so you don't make any noise. Be really quiet. Shh. Creeping away from the jungle dance. Creeping home. Sad creeping. Sad walks. But quiet. Sad walks. Sad creeping. Fast creeping. Slow creeping. Really slow. Try and be slower than anybody in the room. Like a turtle or a sloth. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. <coughs> Excuse me, coughed a cricket, who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Can we see the cricket? Can anybody spot him? I think he might be here. Have a look. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that that lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music when you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. Oh, make a circle, maybe a really big one, make a really small one, and a big one, and a small one. And his neck was gently swaying, and his tail was swishing around. So if we were a giraffe, and we had a tail and it swished around. How big can you swish it? Can you swish it up really high and really low? Big, long side swishes and then really little ones. Listen to the music and swish, 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 up, down, up, down. Copy me and swish and swish and swish your tail around and around, and around. <gasps> You've just done port bra Look, and around, and around. Gerald's a very good dancer. He threw his arms out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Wow, a backward somersault. He's very talented. Gerald felt so wonderful, his mouth was open wide. I am dancing, yes I'm dancing. I am dancing, Gerald cried. Look at that, the biggest smile on his face. Show me your smiles. Then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. 
Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. Look, they're all sitting watching him. There's a turtle, there's a lion, there's the elephant, all the animals that we've been. How is it you can dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twizzled round and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. So our very last movement of the day is to take a big bow to say thank you for dancing with me. So we can either stand with our feet together and we bow forwards or you can do a curtsy. So you can hold a dress or you can have your hands on your hips and you turn out and you step and you plie both legs and you step and you plie both legs. So you have a bow or you have a curtsy. Or you could do a bow and a curtsy because that's really clever. Step, bow and curtsy. Step, bow and curtsy. That's how we say thank you for watching a performance. Thank you so much for dancing with me today. I've had so much fun reading you the story of giraffes can't dance, but now we know that they can. I think Gerald should join the West Australian Ballet Company.